What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. Today we're going to be putting this new Fury Tech ESC into the Atlas 6x6. If you own one of these, you know how bad the throttle control is and just how loud this stock ESC is. So this is the stock ESC straight out of here. Okay, um, with this setup, you can't use this stock system and just plug into it like you do with the SEX24. So you will have to have a separate transmitter and receiver. So I have the Flysky GT5 right here. I'm gonna be running with it because this doesn't have a channel two port on it like um, our stock SEX24 system does. See here we have extra ports to plug into. So with this setup, you just plug this ESC into channel two and you can use the, the receiver inside of here and basically bypass the ESC. This doesn't have that option. This port here is for your steering servo and that's it. There is nothing else to plug into. So just gonna have to pull that thing out and put this in with your own receiver. Okay, so we have this installed. So here's all you're gonna be looking at. Um, you're gonna have your receiver, and I just kinda threw this stuff in here. So you're gonna have your receiver somewhere. Um, your Fury Tech ESC with the cord it comes with, plugged in to here, running into channel two for your throttle, then your battery straight in, motor straight in, and you're set. So when you power it on, on the uh, ESC here, you'll hear it come on and you're good to go. So now let's see how this, th this slow speed is compared to the normal stock setup. So we're gonna plug the Bluetooth dongle in here and adjust it a little bit, calibrate it to our transmitter so that our throttle is a little better, hopefully. Okay, so you can see, let's calibrate to our transmitter. So yes, we want to calibrate. Set zero speed, so don't hit anything, hit okay. Set max speed, so we're gonna go full throttle. Set max brake, we'll go full reverse. And then we want to save it. And we should be good. Okay, so we're all hooked up. You can see this pretty good slow crawl there. This is with stock motor, stock gearing, everything. So let's try to go up over this. Super smooth. Um, you know, obviously it's not as smooth as my SEX24 with the um, surpass motor in this system, but this is really good on the stock setup for the Atlas. Um, I'm gonna throw the stock Atlas system back in here 
and show you how this thing struggles for one and you will hear how loud this thing is um, so slow crawl is pretty dang good it's still a little jumpy every now and then but some of it is my throttle finger <laughs> And that's basically throwing it in and just messing with a couple little things, not doing much here. So you have lots of tuning. You can turn this low speed up, and that's supposed to help you get more of a low speed crawl. It it makes the, the distance between where your throttle engages farther. Um, But you, I don't like having that big dead spot in there myself, honestly. Um, there's a lot of dead space in the trigger there like that. So you just turn that down. I prefer to just have it down like around 10 because I can, I can run slow enough, but I don't have that huge dead spot in the trigger. So, But you can totally play with the throttle curve and all of that. And, and probably get much smoother. It's way smoother than my stock system ever was. <laughs> so let's throw the stock setup back in here. And I'll show you a little comparison real quick. Okay, so you'll see here we're back to the stock system. Just tossed in here. It's on and ready to go. Stock. Okay. See how, how quick that jumps? It's like it's not pulling, it's not pulling. You can hear it. And then it And then it just goes. That's the problem with this stock system. Everybody knows this. You can be smooth, it just takes a lot more throttle control and then you're never going to get as smooth I don't believe as the Fury Tech hear that it's trying to go and it, and it does that you can see my finger I'm not I'm easing on it easing on it it's doing nothing there it's starting to pull a little and then it jumps and you see my finger I did not do that on purpose It's like once it breaks over that edge, see it won't pull it, and I'm not gunning it. You just have to be on off the throttle, on off. Okay, big difference. I hope you can see that. Um, and just know, you know, it's it's not my my finger. I'm not I'm not doing this to make this look bad. Uh, <laughs> it's just that jumpy, like it. And you can hear it struggling, trying to take off. So I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference there. And. This is super simple to install um, is the thing about it. So all I did was I ran the uh, SEX24 battery with it. So um, that's simple enough. You will need a receiver of your own and transmitter. I was using the FlySky GT5, like I said. Um, if you have a stock SEX24 system laying around, you can even use that. Um, the SEX24 remote 
plug this in here. Uh, sorry, wrong cord. You plug this into the Fury Tech, and then you would plug this into channel two. Um, and then just your battery and motor like usual. Um, so you could do that also if you have one of those sitting around. So um, you can't just use the stock ESC. You can't just plug this Fury Tech into this and keep your stock remote and stuff. So um, the only downfall, but I, I don't miss this remote. So um, I do like how it breaks apart. But other than that, I could care less about that thing. So um, well worth the upgrade, in my opinion, well worth it. Um, and what you could do even is if you got two of these, you put one in your Atlas, put one in your SCX24, get you a Flysky GT5, buy an extra receiver. The receivers are cheap. Throw this in your SCX24 with your other Fury Tech, this one in here with your um, other receiver, and then you can run them both off of your one transmitter. So that's handy as well. So. Um, all you need is this ESC. You'll want the Bluetooth module just so you can do the tuning on the app. Love having that app. But uh, overall, super simple install. The motor, stock motor in here, plugs straight in to this ESC. So no issues there. I've got to test out the LED port. Um, they say you can run the LEDs off of this also. Um, I'm sure you would have to do some splicing to run all of the LD LEDs on here because y'all know the Atlas has rear lights, headlights, all that. So you may need like a splitter or something like that to run them all. But other than that, it's plug and play. So there you go. It's super simple. Plug and play. Um, stock motor plugs right in and you're good to go. You will need the different transmitter, like I said. So um, if you have any questions about this setup, or the Atlas, just give me a yell. Um, I'll do my best to answer anything. I just kind of threw this in there real quick to test it. So to show some of you guys, you know, how it worked with the Atlas. I'm also gonna be just putting it in um, like a stock SEX24, completely stock um, everything. That way you can see what it does with stock motor, all that. And then we're also going to put it in my Panda. So um, I have the Panda Tetra X2. Or whatever the bronco looking thing so um the esc in that is horrible as well so <laughs> we're going to be checking that out i appreciate everybody watching don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell so you get notified just like with these escs i posted up on my channel when they were being put on pre-order and if you had clicked the bell you got notified of that if you hadn't you may be missing out so pre-order pre-orders are live for these now so go to the site. I'll put a link in the description for this and get in line. They're sick. <laughs> All right. I appreciate everybody watching. Peace.